Interesting. That was awful. I thought it was good. You might like it, Holly, but I'm sure King and Queen Marigold will not. If I might make a suggestion, Your Majesty. What is it, Nanny Plum? Princess Holly could play her recorder for the guests. Yes, Nanny has been teaching me. And Holly has been practising. <laughs> Charming little tune. King and Queen Marigold would like that. There is one problem. You've promised elf music and Holly is not an elf. I could magic some elf ears for Holly. Ooh. <laughs> no, thank you, Nanny. I know. Nanny can teach the elf band how to play Holly's tune. Hooray! That's that sorted. See you later. Everybody on? Yes! Right ho, off we go. Your instruments don't just sound funny, they look funny too. They've got funny names as well. This is called a thrump warbler. <laughs> That's the spal throttle. <laughs> and this is the blotto horn. <laughs> Delightful. They all sound silly. You might have finished, Ben, but I'm still working. Holly, it's time for your speech. Hello. You all look very nice, and I hope you have fun dancing today. Uh... Jolly good show. Jolly good show. <laughs> what happens now? Now comes the hard bit. We have to sit still and not fall asleep. In honour of your majesty, we will now do a dance. <laughs> Even worse. Very good. Very good. Come on, Daddy. Let's dance. What? But I... Oh, all right. Could you play something a little bit more modern? Righto. <laughs> I like your work, Daddy. It's fun. Oh, 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 you're right, Holly. King's work is fun. Oh, that was a busy day. Ho, ho. Yes, it was. Fantastic! That sounds exactly the sort of music King and Queen Marigold would like. Problem solved. King and Queen Marigold. How delightful to see your little kingdom again, Queen Thistle. It's always such a pleasure to experience your simple country life here. We can't wait to hear some genuine elf music. <laughs> oh, yes. You must hear it. Oh, King Thistle. 
didn't tell me you were a conductor. I take a special interest in the sound of this band. I must say, this is not at all what I expected elf music to sound like. They have been practicing very hard. These elves play well, but the tune is a little old-fashioned. And their instruments sound very ordinary. I assumed elf music would be more folksy. What's that? <laughs> oh, I say. <laughs> A fantastic performance! Very exciting! A triumph, King Thistle! Have you ever considered teaching music? Ah, well, uh. Let's dance! <laughs> Come on, Mummy. Um, King and Queen Marigold are not boring at all. Uh, <clears throat> King Leopold, may I present the Elf and Fairy Band? Lovely. Excuse me for interrupting, but I couldn't help noticing you've got a magic piano. Hello there. And no offence, but that fancy whiffy-waffy music is a waste of a good magic piano. Do you know any rock and roll? Rock and roll's my middle name. Wise old elf. Do you like rock and roll? Rock and roll? I most certainly do not like rock and roll. I'll take that as a yes. Over to you, Mr. Piano. A bee bop a doo da a doo da do. <laughs> Down. Oh, <laughs> if I must, bump your booze and wiggle your wooers. Thank you very much. Hoo hoo! That was fun. I'm going to enjoy staying here. Oh dear, we're stuck with him for weeks now. This gnome king is incredible. If only King Leopold would come and stay with us at our castle. I don't see why not. Just mention pies and he's all yours. I say, old boy, would you like to stay with us for a few weeks? There will be pies. <laughs> no, if there's pies involved, I'll stay with you forever. <laughs> And the elf band had composed a special song, too. Listen. Oompa, oompa, old king Thistle is a very old king. And he's one year older today. Old king Thistle, he's old and grey. Happy, happy, happy birthday. That's very nice. But Daddy doesn't want to have his birthday because he thinks he's too old. King Thistle's not old. I've got T-shirts older than him. Really? I'm sure the King just needs cheering up. We've tried that. It didn't work. So I suppose there won't be a party after all. No music. No dancing. No fireworks. Hmm. The king likes surprises, doesn't he? Yes. We can give the king a surprise party. But he doesn't want a birthday party. Ah, but it won't be a birthday party. There'll be music and dancing and fireworks and no one will say the word birthday. Gosh, that's very clever. It's brilliant. Come on, Ben. We need to get ready for the party. <laughs> Calling all elves. We need to arrange the king's party. Right, right, right. Hello. 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 Hello.
Hello, Daddy. I've got something for you. What's this? Open it and see. I said no birthday cards. It's not a birthday card. This is just a card to say what a lovely Daddy you are. Oh, thank you, Holly. And here's a present. It's not a birthday present, is it? No, King Thistle. Are you sure? Sure. A toy robot. Thank you, Ben. I made it myself. Let's get this party started. Hooray! Musical statues. When the music stops, you have to stand as still as a statue. <laughs> Aha! Raspberry, I saw you move. <laughs> and you, Nettle. That's because they haven't been turned to stone yet. Ah! Strawberry, you've magic them into real statues. Of course. That's how we fairies play musical statues. This is not a fairy party. Turn them back to normal. OK. The big children's ones are going into the library with the others. Now it's time to play Stick the Tail on the Donkey. Here's the donkey. Looks like a cabbage. Or a duck. It's a donkey. Now... I will blindfold Nettle Elf and she'll try to stick this tail on the donkey. <laughs> Ow! She stung me again! It's a stupid game anyway. You need a big dragon to stick the tail on. Ah! Oh, looks like the twins' party has started. Get rid of the dragon! All right. Just trying to liven the party up a bit. I'm putting the grown-ups' ones in the library too. Now for my conjuring show. Hooray! Queen Thistle, please take a card. <laughs> Don't show me. What is your card? Um, the two of hearts. Your card is the two of hearts. That's the worst trick I've ever seen. I thought it was rather good. How's it done? For my next trick, I will turn myself into a mouse. Ooh. You little ones need to wait behind this door for a moment. How do you change yourself into a mouse? I put these ears on and this nose, then I... Um was it a good idea putting the toddlers in the library? What? It's the same room you put all the wands in. Ah. <laughs> Come on, everyone. Party time. <laughs> Let's get started with a bit of a boogie. Yeah, 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 I yeah, wish yeah, we yeah, could yeah, dance with the yeah, big yeah, children. Yeah, we yeah, promise yeah, to keep yeah, out yeah, of yeah, sight. Yeah, I can't yeah, help it. Yeah. I have yeah, boogie. Yeah, yeah. No, Barnaby. Come back. Boogie, boogie, boogie. They're going to see him. Musical statues. When the music yeah, stops, yeah, everyone yeah, freeze. Yeah, 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 yeah. Katie, you moved. I nearly stepped on this toy. Look. Oh, I'll just pop the toy over here with the rest of the toys. What are you doing, Barnaby? Sorry, Lucy's mum. Barnaby, we're supposed to stay here. But I love to boogie. Now, Lucy's dad is going to do some magic tricks. Hooray! Oh, goody. I love magic. It won't be real magic, just magic tricks. What are magic tricks? You'll see. Hello and welcome to the magic show. Ooh! You see? That's a magic trick. It's a trick wand. That was really good. My dad's been practicing. And now I will make a rabbit come out of my hat. Hey, presto. <laughs> My pet rabbit. 
Dad must have borrowed him. Do it again. Yes, do it again. Uh, I can't. Lucy only has one rabbit. Oh, maybe he needs a bit of help. No, Strawberry. Rabbits, rabbits, rabbits. Oh, another rabbit. Ooh. Rabbity, rabbity, rabbity. And another rabbit. And um, another. And another. We're going on holiday in a flying saucer to Planet Bong. Holiday, here we come. Um, it's not really a holiday. We must leave. Hold tight, everyone. It can be bumpy. What do you mean, bumpy? Ah! Why are we floating? There is no gravity in space. Nothing to hold you down. Sorry, I forgot to turn on the ship's gravity motor. Ooh. Ooh. Ow! <gasps> Look at all the pretty sparkly lights. Behold, the wondrous science of an alien race. Where's the toilet? We do not go to the toilet. Incredible! Being so advanced, they have stopped needing to go to the toilet. No toilets? What if I want to go? You should have gone before we set off. Maybe there'll be toilets at the beach. Is there a beach on Planet Bong? Planet Bong is all beach. Wow! All beach! Yes, it is very hot and sunny. Would anyone like a snack? Yes, please. This machine can make any food or drink you like. Can it make orange juice? Yes. Mmm, delicious. Can it make a jam and peanut butter and banana sandwich? Yes. Amazing. Can it make jelly? No, it can make anything in the universe, but not jelly, which is a shame because I like jelly. Jelly? I can do jelly. Nanny! What? A little bit of jelly never did anyone any harm. Daisy, Poppy, you turn me back this instant or I'll... I'm Dolly Plum. Feed me, please. <laughs> yes, I think we can make a copy of this. Come along, please. If I press your tummy, will you sing a song? Don't you even think of pressing my tummy. Dolly Plum is lots of fun. <laughs> you are indeed. You are indeed. So, how are you going to copy me? We'll use this copying machine. This is how it works. If we take this tennis ball and put it right here... <laughs> an exact copy. Ooh. Now, for Dolly Plum. Um, actually, I've changed my mind. Can you put me down, please? I don't think I want to do this today. Thank you. Thank you, Nanny. You just have. What do you mean? What do you mean? Yes, Your Majesty. No, Your Majesty. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound like me. <laughs> it does a bit, Nanny. Dolly Plum. It's a perfect copy. Yes, and now that we've copied Nanny, we can make as many as we want. Hold on. Let's stick to one, just to keep the twins happy. I quite agree. One Nanny Plum is quite enough. Fine. Now, will someone please magic me back again? OK, Nanny. Oh, that's better. Now I can get on with my work. My, my dolly. Dolly. My dolly! My Dolly! My Dolly! Dolly! Wah! <laughs> oh, dear. They want a Dolly each. Wah! But we promised Nanny Plum we'd only make one. One more wouldn't <laughs> hurt. Just to keep the twins happy. <laughs> My dolly. My dolly. Oh, this is going to be a long afternoon. Where on earth can they be? It's been ages. And we can't start the harvest dance without them. Well, it looks like we can't have a dance then. Oh. <laughs> 
Here we are with a fruit harvest. Blackberries. What happened to the strawberries? The gnome ate them. The gnome? Oh, no. What about the apples? The gnome ate them, too. Well, I'd like to give this gnome a talking to. You can if you like. He's here. Hello. Yeah. What's he doing here? He helped pick the blackberries for us. So we invited him to the dance. Oh. He ate 2,000 blackberries. But we got ten for us. Uh, nine. I ate one on the way here. Sorry. Anyway, there's still enough for a big pie. Excellent. Then let the harvest dance commence. Hooray! <laughs> This is a bit boring. <gasps> Let's get this party started. Take your partners, please. Swing to the left. Step to the right. Wiggle your hips. Spin around and get a bit dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! It's traditional that the first slice of pie goes to the person who picked the most fruit. Oh, who's that then? That's you. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Would it be okay if we played some rock and roll? Rock and roll? Certainly not. We're playing for King Leopold, remember? Okay. It was just a thought. Now, let's make music. Good work, everybody. It's looking great. Where's the food? Nanny Plum! There you go. I've made spaghetti vongole a la truffles. Yum, yum! This food looks delicious. Better than the usual stod you make me. That's because King Leopold is coming to dinner. <sighs> Have all the little children got their flags to wave? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't they do that for me? Because... I know, I know. I'm not King Leopold. And we need music. Where's the band? Here we are. We've been practising all afternoon. Oh, good. It's nearly time. Everybody into their seats. I can hear footsteps. Someone's coming. Hooray! 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 Here he comes. Let's start the music. Hello there. Ah! The name! Evening all. Get out of the way. We're waiting for a very important person. Oh, yes? Who's that then? King Leopold. That's me. <gasps> you? You're King Leopold? Are you an actual king? Oh, yes. Where's your crown? I keep it under me hat. But why have you never told us before? Oh, I don't like to go on about it. Don't like to go on about it? You sent us this flowery letter asking for a feast. Dum da dum dum da ti da 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 dum da ti da ti. Nanny Plum, Gaston the ladybird is not happy. Hmm, ladybirds are never happy. But Gaston is our best friend. Can you do something? Please, please Nanny Plum, Plum please. please. Oh, all right. I'll see what I can do. Thanks, Nanny. <laughs> This is Gaston's cave. And what sort of insect is Gaston? He's a ladybird. Oh, yes. Now, let's think. What's Ladybird for hello? 
The door's open. We better take a look inside. Gaston's not here. He's gone off somewhere to be sad. Ugh. No wonder Gaston is sad. No one could be happy in such a messy, smelly cave. Chop, chop. We need to clean this cave up before the ladybird returns. Yes, that will be a nice surprise. And Gaston will be happy again. <laughs> First, we need my cleaning things. Abracadee, abracadop, brushes, dusters, soap and mop. Holly, you dust the cobwebs. Yes, Nanny Plum. Ben, you clean the floor. Yes, Nanny Plum. And I will tackle the bed. <laughs> I love the boating carnival. All the boats sailing on the river with music and dancing. But King and Queen Marigold always make fun of my boat. Oh. King and Queen Marigold are so snooty. Oh. Well, maybe the marigolds won't be coming this year. Hello? Oh, hello, King Marigold. Thistle, old boy. Are you coming to the boating carnival? We've got an amazing boat this year. Oh, well, I've got an amazing boat, too. Really? I can't wait to see it. Cheerio! Those marigolds are such show-offs. This time, our boat will be better than theirs. What boat is that, Your Majesty? Ah, uh, the boat you're going to build me. Me? Allow me, Your Majesty. Elves are good at building boats, and I'm an... I can build a better boat than you. Nonsense! Can too. Stop! Stop! I don't care how you do it, just build me a boat. So, how are we going to work together on this? I know. We'll build a boat each. And King Thistle can choose the best one. And he'll choose mine. He'll choose mine. I have a fantastic idea for a boat. Oh, what is it? It's a secret. Come on, Ben. Fine. I've got a better idea anyway. What sort of boat are we going to build? We're going to build a Viking boat. Cool! Nanny, what sort of boat are we going to build? No idea. The wise old elf said he had a good idea, but it was a secret. All right, let's find out what it is. Isn't that cheating? Yes, well done, Fleur. That's called cheating. Our Viking boat will have shields on the sides and a dragon head at the front. Ooh! Everyone is here, even Gaston's brother Tony with Pam and the little ladybirds Amber, ruff, Emerald ruff, and Keith. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Happy birthday, Gaston. Here's your present. Ruff, ruff. It's a squeaky toy. <laughs> Hello! I'm sorry, do you have an invitation? I don't need one. I'm King Thistle. King Thistle, King Thistle. No, your name's not on here. What? But it's my party. No, it's not, mate. It's Gaston the Ladybird's party. What? Take it easy, fella. It's supposed to be a happy occasion. It's all right. He's with us. What's going on? Where's yeah, my birthday yeah, yeah, party? Yeah, yeah. You yeah, said you didn't yeah. want a party. Yeah. I know I said that, yeah, yeah, but what I really meant was yeah, yeah, I do want yeah, a party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dad. You are silly. Yes, I know. Oh, well, I'm sure Gaston won't mind sharing his party with you. Gaston, be nice and share your present with King Thistle. Gaston, that's not how to behave on your birthday. For me, how kind. It's a squeaky toy. Yes, for you to chase. And now it's time for the birthday song. He's round and he's red with big black spots. How dare they? It's about Gaston, Daddy. He rolls on his back and he barks a lot. He's Gaston the Ladybird. That was really fun. Maybe birthday parties aren't that bad. 
What's that noise? Happy birthday! Oh! Hooray! Happy birthday, Daddy. Oh, oh, thank you, Holly. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and this clown is over 200 years old. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, they were made at the Elf Factory by someone called the Wise Old Elf. We know the Wise Old Elf. <gasps> you know the Wise Old Elf? What's he like? He's wise. He's old. He's... He's a grumpy old elf that's a bit clever. This is my favourite toy. A clockwork fairground ride. But sadly, it's broken. Don't worry, I can mend it. I don't think so. It needs to be seen by an expert. Elves are experts, and I'm an elf. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I can help you, Ben. Rawr! Don't touch! These toys must not be touched by children. We'll have to touch it to mend it. Um, okay. There, it's mended. I want it to go again. Oh, yes, again, again, again. More, more, more. OK. Oh, vroom, vroom. <laughs> King and Queen Marigold's castle isn't boring at all. Yes, actually, it's quite fun, isn't it? Choo -choo. <laughs> <laughs> The doctor says you have to put Wandy to bed and he'll be right over. Achoo! Oh, Wandy! The wand doctor is here. Hello. But that's just the wise old elf. I'll have you know I'm not just the wise old elf. I'm also a fully qualified wand doctor. Oh, I see. We elves make the wands, remember? Yes, why is that? You hate magic. We make wands, but we don't use them. Magic always leads to trouble. Now, where is my patient? Here. Achoo! Ah, that's loud. <laughs> Tongue out, please. As I thought, a cold. I suggest plenty of rest. The wand needs to stay in bed and keep nice and warm. Will Wandy be able to do magic? Oh, no, no, no. There'll be no waving Wandy around for a while. Oh, what'll I do without a wand? Funny you should ask. I've been working on a brand new wand. Maybe you'd like to try it out. Wow! It's been top secret until now. I call it the Wise Wand 3000. Even I didn't know about it. Gosh, thanks, Wise Old Elf. It's so pretty. You're my best friend. Ooh! And it talks. I love you. Incredible. Amazing. That's not all. This wand has a very special feature no other wand has. What special feature? Oh, you'll find out soon enough. I have to say, wands don't get any better than this. What did he mean by that? What does he ever mean? I always lose interest halfway through. I can't wait to do some magic with my Wise Wand 3000. Well, you will have to wait till tomorrow because it's nearly bedtime. Oh, Bye, Holly. Bye, Ben. So if no one wants this treasure, can I have it? Yes, yes, take it. Silence, please. Everyone, now, we are 
are gathered here to discuss the dwarf problem. They're making loud bangs. They're digging holes everywhere. They've dug up my carrots. Yes, yes, we all know how annoying they can be. Can't you magic them away? No, fairy magic doesn't work on dwarves. I know how to get rid of the dwarves. We take all this treasure... Aww. ...sneak into the mine and bury the treasure deep down. Oh, and then the dwarves will dig it up and they'll be happy and stop digging. Correct. Excellent plan. All right, Nanny Plum's in charge. Off you go. But it's my plan. OK, you can both be in charge. Thank you, Your Majesty. But I'm in charge, really. We need to bury the treasure deep down in the mine. But how do we get inside? The train! Clever Ben! Wait for me! Dwarf mine, here we come! <laughs> <laughs> wow! How deep is the mine? Deep, very deep. Hold tight, everyone. Oh, no! So old, we dig for diamonds, we dig for gold. Dig, 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 dig. How can we hide the treasure with all the dwarves around? I know, I'm good at voices. This is the dwarf boss. Come on, lads, let's go, go, go. It's the king! Hooray! I'm not the king today, I'm just a humble factory worker like you lot. But we need a king to inspect the toys. OK, I'll be king for a second. <coughs> it's perfect. Right, now I'm just a humble factory worker again. What do I do? Press this button and out comes the gloop. <coughs> what about something a bit more interesting? Making the toys. Uh, no, Your Majesty. The painting? Perhaps not. The packing? No. Today you are the gloop, Elf. <coughs> Good, Daddy. I think I'm really getting the hang of this. Don't go so fast, Daddy. What? Go faster? All right. How are you getting on, Your Majesty? Perhaps you're not suited to factory work, Your Majesty. What was the last job on the list? Working on the farm, Daddy. The King has a right to start our harvest dance. Hooray! I'm not the King today. I'm here to do farm work. But it's our holiday. Not when there's work to be done. You heard the King. Back to work. Oh. Righto. What do I do? This pumpkin needs watering, so it'll grow nice and big. It's not growing. It takes a long time, King Thistle. Weeks and weeks. Hmm. Let's speed it up with a little magic. No, Daddy. That'll help it grow. Wow! That's a big pumpkin. It's still growing. It's not going to stop. Ah! The pumpkin's going to explode. Well, it can't be that far away. You were only gone for a second. No one will ever, ever find it. It's guarded by a ferocious beast. Ooh! <laughs> School starting! <laughs> <laughs> All right, acorn class, settle down. Lucy, could you please feed Fluffy the hamster? Yes, Miss Cookie. Oh, look what I found. It's the toy pirate chest from the fish tank. How on earth did it get in Fluffy's cage? Maybe a pirate put it there. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just put it back, shall we? Guarded by a ferocious beast indeed. Fluffy the hamster! <laughs> there. Back where it belongs. 
Never mind, Captain Squid. I think that's the best hiding place for it anyway. But you all know where it is now. We won't tell anyone. You swear? Yes, on Pirate's honour. But Redbeard, you said pirates don't really have any honour and... Yes, yes. Thank you, Holly. We'll talk about this more later. But for now, put your hands on your hearts and say Pirate's honour. Pirates Honor! All aboard! Let's be off before we're spotted. A flying ship. Yes, all the best pirates have one these days. Now, let's start the class. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Cookie, look! A flying pirate ship! It's, it's behind, behind you! Ha ha, yes, children. Now settle down, please. Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. What are you doing here? Tell you later. Set sail for home. Little kingdom, here we come. Ha -ha! I think we got away with that. Aye, it were a great adventure. And that's what being elf pirates is all about. Having adventures. <laughs> I hear them and I've no time to hide. Pretend to be a toy. Okie dokie. I'm a toy! Here's the lake. I found a toy boat. There's a doll on it. Oh, that's Redbeard. Who's Redbeard? I mean, uh, the doll's got a red beard. Some poor child must have lost it. Let's put it here where they'll find it. Miss Cookie, I found a tadpole. Lovely. Tick tadpoles off your list. Tadpoles! And that's the end of today's nature trail. Come on, children, back to school. Yes, Miss Cookie. Well done, Redbeard. They never suspected a thing. It was a close call and no mistake. They've been all over the Little Kingdom now, but we haven't been discovered. Yes, well done, everyone. The big people have no idea us little people live here. They didn't see the great elf tree or the little castle. And they didn't find out Mrs Witch is a witch. All I can say is it's a good thing they didn't bump into the gnome. Dumpty Dumpty Doo Da. Ah! The gnome! Dumpty Dumpty Doo Da. Hello. Evening all. Hello. Are you going to a fancy dress party? Party? Is there party food there? I like food. Uh, we're just on a nature trail. Oh, yes. What have you seen on this nature trail? We've seen toadstools and insects and tadpoles. Toadstools, insects, tadpoles? But there's loads more stuff. Really? There's the elves and the fairies. The what? That blabbermouth is giving everything away. How can we stop him? I know. Come on, Gaston. Yes, the elves live in a tree. An oak tree? Yes, it's got tiny windows in it. Oh, well, this isn't a fish. It's a mirror. Can we keep it, Dad? Yes, it's from the bottom of the lake, so it can't belong to anyone. Cool. OK, well, it's, it's been nice chatting to you, um, little folk. <laughs> but I think it's time to go home. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Do you think the mirror is magic, Dad? I hope not. I've seen enough magic for one day. <laughs> Listen, somebody's crying. <laughs> it's a girl. <gasps> Hello. What are you doing in the lake? I live here. You live in the lake? Yes. I'm a mermaid. <laughs> my name is Oceana. Why were you crying? I've lost my mirror. That must be the mirror Lucy found. And where is this Lucy? She's a big girl. So she'll probably be on her way to school. <laughs> Bye, Lucy. Pick you up later. Bye, Dad! Oh, no. A mermaid's mirror must never be seen by big people. Don't worry. I'm sure Lucy won't show it to anyone. Look, everybody. I found a mirror. Ooh. Ooh! Lovely. That's perfect for our show and tell. Come up to the front, Lucy, and show the mirror to the whole class. Ah! My poor mirror. 
I'll never get it back because I can't walk on land. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll get your mirror back. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Home time, children. Hi, Dad. Hi, Lucy. Good day. Lucy. Psst. Lucy. Ben. Holly. What are you doing here? We've come for the mirror. It belongs to a mermaid. A mermaid? Wow! Yes, and she needs her mirror back. Oh, OK. Please tell me this is just a game. Elves and fairies are one thing, but mermaids? Haven't you read about mermaids in books? Yes, but I've also read about dragons and witches, and they're not real either. Yes, yes they, they are. are. The pink dress or the blue dress? Mummy, I can't decide. The pink one looks nice on you, Holly. But what about me? Green or yellow or turquoise? Ben, what do you think? Um, maybe the pink one for you and the greeny blue one for your mum. Green, blue, yellow, purple? What's all this fuss about? King and Queen Marigold are coming to visit today, remember? <sighs> oh, yes. They are very fashionable, and I don't want them to think we look scruffy. Who looks scruffy? You look scruffy. Do I? Yes, Daddy. Hmm. What do you think, Ben? Man to man. Do I look scruffy? Uh, maybe you could be a tiny bit smarter. That is why I have ordered the elf tailor to make you some new clothes. Hmm. And you must have a bath. OK. The Elf Tailor. That's just the wise old elf. I'll have you know I'm not just the wise old elf. I'm also a qualified tailor. Oh, I see. Carry on, then. I'm off to have a bath. But hurry up. Our guests will be here soon. Uh, King Thistle's new clothes, Your Majesty. Lovely. But is this fashionable? This is a classic cut made from the finest woolen fabrics, Your Majesty. Oh, very nice. Uh, oh, please, don't prod it, Nanny Plum. It's a very delicate fabric, which means you must not clean it with magic. Yes, yes. Thank you, Taylor. Bye. Goodbye. Can you see that speck of dirt there, Holly? I can't see anything, Mummy. Nanny Plum, can you see that speck of dirt? Where? There? No. There. <gasps> oh. Oh, dear. Giddy up! <laughs> Giddy up! Giddy up! Daisy! Poppy! Don't ride your hobby horses on the breakfast table! Oh. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. The twins really like ponies at the moment. Mm. They really want a pet. And ponies are lovely pets. So pretty and cuddly. And they've got long, swishy tails to brush. Daisy and Poppy would so love a pony. Pony! Pony! Goodness me, no! Ponies are ginormous. And Daisy and Poppy are tiny fairies. No pony! <laughs> Maybe the princesses could have another sort of pet. Pet! 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 I can magic them up a harmless, fluffy little pet. Wait a minute. Pets need looking after. Who's going to do all the cleaning up? The twins can. We will. We promise. OK. But please make it a sensible pet, Nanny. Not a dragon or a, or a dinosaur. Of course, Your Majesty. <sighs> I've got a bad feeling about this. Don't worry, darling. Nanny Plum knows what she's doing. I've got a very bad feeling about this. Here we are, the magical fairy library. Now, let's find a book on pets. Hmm, a tiger. Tiger, tiger. No, too big. Oh, tiger. Hmm, a snake. Snakey, snakey. No, too wriggly. Oh, wiggly, wiggly snakey. An alligator. Alligator, alligator. 
alligator. No, too many teeth. Oh, alligator. Ah, here we go. The perfect little pet. A hamster. Hamster, hamster. <laughs> I wonder what pet Nanny has magicked up for Daisy and Poppy. As long as it's small, I don't care. Ahem. May I present the princess's new pet, Pippin. Gently pillow, up, up, up. Wow. wow. There it is. <laughs> it's stuck. One. Two, three, pull! Oh, thanks, Ben. That's what I call a big baby tooth. What about the coin, Nanny? Here it is. Oh, no. What's wrong? Oh, the little girl's written us a letter. What a nuisance. I love getting letters. But the children always want a reply. Now we'll have to come back again. Can I read it? Dear Tooth Fairy, what is it like to live in Fairyland? Fairyland. That makes it sound like some silly make-believe place. Did she ask about elves? Um, no, Ben. Maybe there wasn't enough room on the paper. But she does say, love from Lucy. That's a lovely name. Shush. Remember, Princess Holly, we mustn't wake her. <laughs> Nanny, what happens to the tooth now? We give it to the elves. They take care of the rest. This way. Hopefully, there'll be no one there. Then we can just leave our tooth and go. Good evening. Can I help you? Oh, hello. Tooth delivery. Have you filled in your tooth report? Yes. There appear to be some details missing. Where was the tooth found? Uh, under the pillow. Under the pillow. Dear me, you haven't even put the little girl's name. We know that. Her name is Lucy. Lucy. And she's written us a letter. Ah, a letter. There'll have to be a reply before morning. Oh. I'll write it. Dear Lucy, um, it's very nice in the Little Kingdom. There are lots of fairies. And elves. OK, Ben. And there are lots of elves too. Love, Princess Holly. And Ben Elf. And Ben Elf. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Miss Holly, are you doing magic? <coughs> No, wise old elf, not me. Uh, uh, I think it's just the storm outside. It must be really close now. <laughs> hmm. There's something funny going on around here. Wise old elf, what do we do next? A good question, Holly. Next, we wind the toys up. Doesn't work. Don't worry. I'll just give it a little help. <laughs> <coughs> Nanny Plum, have you been doing magic? Just a teeny tiny little bit to help things along. You are a very naughty fairy. Sorry, wise old elf. <laughs> <laughs> we'll say no more about it. Now, Holly. Let's see what your owl can do. Oh, it doesn't work at all. Hmm, maybe too much magic went into its making. I can fix it. I'm very good at mending things. There, that 
should do it. to do it the elf way. Yes, Holly, I know you did. But it's not easy to make toys without using magic. It's easy for us because... We're elves! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Holly, I've got a new toy. What is it? It's a telescope. You can see things that are really far away. Wow! Can I have a go? OK. I can't see anything. Try twisting it a bit. It still doesn't work. <laughs> Why are you laughing, Ben? It's a joke telescope. It gives you a black ring around your eye that makes you look really silly. Look! Oh, why did you do that? <laughs> Today is Elf Joke Day. What's Elf Joke Day? It's a special day when all the elves play jokes on each other. <laughs> that sounds fun. It is fun. <laughs> Would you like one of my chewy sweets? Yes, please. <laughs> that wasn't funny, Ben. <laughs> Sorry. Here, have this flower. No, thanks. I've had enough of your silly jokes. It's OK, Holly. It won't jump out or make your face dirty. Promise? I promise. <laughs> <laughs> That's my squirty water flower. It's not funny. <laughs> it is funny. Zip, zap, zop. Upside down, you silly elf. Whoa! Ah, put me down! Lesson time, Holly. Oh, hello, Ben. What are you doing upside down? Help! Help! Princess Holly, is this your doing? It was Ben's fault. He was playing jokes on me. Never use magic in anger. It can be very dangerous. Sorry, Nanny Plum. Holly, put Ben down. Sorry, Ben. Phew, that's better. Wow! What's that? It's a toy robot. Ooh! It's a bit broken. We can mend it with magic. Uh, no thanks, Strawberry. We'll fix it the elf way. Elves are very good at fixing things. And we're elves! <laughs> there! Finished! Ooh. So, will it talk? Will it make me a cup of tea? No, it's just a toy robot. It'll do this. That's a bit boring. It isn't boring. That's what toy robots do. Let's switch it on. It doesn't do anything. Oh, maybe it needs batteries. No, it's clockwork. But there's no key. Our magic a key. Oh. Holly, I don't think we should use a magic key. Magic can be dangerous. I'm sure it will be OK. Whatever happens, it will be fun. Mm, all right. <coughs> Shush, Gaston. <coughs> OK, let's see what happens. It's working! Master, what is your name? Ooh. Is that what it's supposed to do? I don't know. Uh, I'm Ben Elf. Ben Elf, you are my master. We thought robots went... Er, er, er. Er, 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 er. Help! Help! Oh, oh no. no! Put us down! Here's your present. Wow! 
now a space mobile. We made it ourselves. <laughs> Thanks, Mum. Thanks, Dad. And later, all your friends will be coming to your birthday party. Cool. Who can that be? Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. You're a bit early for my party. A uh, party? Have you brought me a birthday card? A uh, birthday card? Holly, you haven't forgotten my birthday, have you? Oh, uh, uh, happy birthday, Ben. <laughs> Thanks, Holly. Uh, I've just got to pop back home for something. Oh, see you later. <gasps> oh dear, oh dear. I've forgotten Ben's birthday. <laughs> Sugar, flour, and an egg. Good. Let's do some baking. Hocus pocus. Nanny Plum! Nanny Plum! <laughs> I've forgotten Ben's birthday. Oh, don't worry, my little one. He'll have another birthday next year. No, no. It's really important. I have to do something for this birthday. Ben is my best friend. Oh. I've got to make a birthday card really quickly, but I don't know where to start. What you need is a little magic to get you going. Ahem. Milk, flour, egg and sugar, paint, brushes, card and glitter. <laughs> Thanks, Nanny. Now, I've got a very nice spell for making birthday cards. It goes... Hocus pocus, plinkety plonk. Nanny Plum! Oh, I better go and see what King Thistle wants. My new fairy tea set has arrived. Ooh! Ooh, it's so beautiful and it's so sparkly. It's also very delicate, Holly. That means it breaks easily, so you can look, but don't touch. Yes, Mummy. It is a beautiful teapot. Shall I give it a bit of a dust, Your Majesty? No, Nanny Plum. Even you mustn't touch it. Yes, Your Majesty. Good. Now, as it's such a lovely day, why don't we go for a nice walk? Can I stay here and look at the tea set instead? All right, Holly. But look and don't touch. Yes, Mummy. <laughs> Ooh. Hello, Nanny Plum. Hello, Ben. Can Holly come out to play? I'm afraid Princess Holly is very busy looking at a teapot. Perhaps if... Ben, I've got something to show you. <laughs> OK, Holly. <laughs> Look, Mummy's fairy tea set. Isn't it beautiful? Uh, I suppose so. No one is allowed to touch it. Not even Nanny. Why not? Because it's very delicate. Well, what can you do with it then? Well, you can have tea parties with it, of course. Uh, but we're not supposed to. Just hold them, silly. It's not hard. Look at me. <gasps> How do you like your tea, Mr Elf? Weak or strong? <laughs> ah! ah! Holly! You've broken the Queen's teapot! Oh no! Mummy will be so sad! 